Good evening, dear toast masters and guests. So, why do we come here? Do we have so much time to spend it listening to each other's speeches, giving feedback, evaluations, even to organize large time-consuming events? So, why do people join Toastmasters? I think that each of us coming here, despite this organization, its volunteer organization, each of us have its uh, think about their own benefits when they come here first time. So today I would like to tell you what are my benefits that I gain from joining Toastmasters and being vice president membership one term ago. So to be a, to lead the volunteer organization, the person should possess uh, or have um, the self-motivation first of all, self-dedication. So to must be self-disciplined, to be a good team player, and uh, to to be able to motivate others. So <coughs> when uh, uh, I joined uh, Toastmasters, it was in 2018. I um, started to involve in its uh, active cl uh, club life from the uh, instant point. And uh, uh, only just one term uh, after, I started being uh, vice president of membership. So what, you, uh, what vice president membership need to possess in order to be a good officer? First of, of them is uh, to be a good um, communicator to the individuals as well as to the audience. So I love talking to people, but sometimes it appears to be a challenge uh, to talk to strangers or people from other countries or sometimes to the old members who are not um, um, enthusiastic uh, anymore to uh, take active part in club life and the meetings. The another point is the member need to be a good uh, organizer of the whole process of membership building and retention. So in my experience, I had sometimes uh, difficulties with time management or poor uh, the whole process organizations so that I could, um, wouldn't cope to uh, maintain my journal of members on time. And the last point, I guess, is to be a good motivator, to motivate others to do their best uh, to uh, contribute to the club. So, uh, and the, this is what I like the most, because I love to um, gather up all skillful uh, people together to do some, to create something mm -hmm. new. So, and in this moment, you need to be a good uh, altruistic leader, so that you need to understand the interests and the, um, the needs of the member that he needs in his development, so that he would be interested in uh, active participation of certain events. So, uh, during uh, my uh, VPM work, I uh, devoted most of the time to explaining uh, all the new members around how to join Toastmasters, how to choose their path, how to uh, use the base camp, to prepare to, uh, for the, your speeches, how to work with your mentors, and how to take active participation in events and the meetings by taking ro roles. And uh, by the midterm, I realized that I couldn't I, I just absorbed with this um, uh, operational things that I couldn't accomplish my two goals that I set in the um, beginning of my term. First of them, I wanted to make the electronic leaflets that the new members could adapt uh, smoothly to the Toastmasters world. But, um, during my process, I, uh, during my term, I, real, I realized that we have so many resources and uh, information in um, 
Toastmasters uh, website so that uh, I started to uh, send new members and navigators that is very helpful uh, at the starting point. But time by time I understand that people prefer more uh, consultations with me than um, like to learn the uh, some electronic tutorials. So the another uh, point was to uh, involve all the members, I mean experienced members, to the uh, club events or meetings so that they could show the right good standards of speech delivery for the newcomers. So, and this goal I could fulfill only one uh, <coughs> term later, conducting the DTM contest. And uh, by the end of my term, I had 34 registered, uh, re registered members, uh, thanks to the some uh, membership building events that was uh, ATC winter trip to Burabai, uh, ice breaking marathon, and uh, uh, NASCO officers training as well, because uh, this all um, this all uh, events helped to uh, attract more new members. So, and uh, when I had to pass my uh, position to the new elected. Uh, VP membership, by the way, uh, who was Adia, and uh, the, to select the uh, right successor is the, also my job to uh, make the smooth transition. So um, I just uh, explained here all the uh, knowledge and the experience that I gained, as well as all the um, hard uh, or probably some uh, bad tactics that are not uh, working so that she, she, wouldn't explain, uh, she wouldn't repeat them in future. So <clears throat> at the end of the day, uh, what I have gained from being the uh, VP membership. Uh, so to, to get the fair uh, assessment uh, of my uh, manage, of my work managing to be a VP membership, I asked uh, my club mem members and the uh, team officer members uh, to evaluate my work in a 360 uh, degree evaluation. So the, the most, um, w w what they pointed out is that I could uh, manage or I have excelled in interpersonal relations and the teamwork, team buildings. But still some, uh, some uh, areas that I need to improve was that I need to uh, motivate, need to keep some strategies to motivate others to fulfill their um, goals or to try to uh, avoid some conflict situations. And as well as prioritization is also uh, the area that I need to improve because uh, we need to set and honor our milestones and timelines to get our goals that we set in the beginning accomplished by the end. So tell, uh, concluding my uh, speech, I would like to tell everyone that uh, you don't uh, need to be afraid of, seeing, of new things and uh, take the challenges in order to get new uh, experiences. So probably you, did, you will not see the result right away, but you can uh, gain the skills that will help you in the future. So be proactive in your lifelong experience and learning.